What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can create a seamless transition and I'm also going to show you how I can add some fake camera movement and just basically energy to your scene. Right before we start I need to let you know about my new pack New Wave Effects. New Wave Effects has over 20 presets meant to emulate that new wave aesthetic that you're going to see from artists like K Suave, Summers, Laser Dim and a bunch of others. The presets are all extremely unique and meant for your edits to stand out. It'll be available in a description and on top of that I left you a discount just for watching the video and supporting the channel now let's get right into the video all right so now in after effects as you can see we have these two clips so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in into the sky in this first clip and then in the second one we're gonna zoom out of there so that we get a seamless transition into the sky so before we do that i really love when it's like tripod shots like this it doesn't really move much i like to add some energy to it so what we're gonna do is first off add a repetile effect i really suggest making a your own preset for it that way it's already done like this but basically you add cc repetile and you can just expand these so that you don't get black borders when we move this for example when we move this it becomes a mirror and it doesn't become all right so let's paste this onto the two clips and now and now into the position properties press p let's do alt click we're just gonna do wiggle two and then 15. So now you get this slight camera movement. We're gonna do the same thing. We can copy that position, I'll click and we copy that one so that we have a slight camera movement. I really like having these. And then we're gonna add a small sticker as well, just to give some energy to our scene. We're gonna do that by creating a new adjustment layer, going to exposure, and then I'll click on exposure and let's do wiggle 24 times and then 0.5 i think we might do 12 actually so now we have this small flicker looks pretty cool now let's actually do the transition let's do new adjustment layer now in our first clip we're just going to adjust the anchor point right here pressing y and then we can select it and leave it and put it somewhere in the sky right there and then for the second clip we're going to do the same press y but on this part right here so that when we zoom in now the anchor point is different and it actually goes there instead of the middle so now in our scale properties we're going to scale this until the very end and we're just going to go a frame before just so that we know what we're working with so we can zoom in zoom in zoom in until we don't see anything else something like this is pretty good 700 and then for the second clip let's do the same thing a little later we're going to make it the original scale but at the beginning we're going to zoom in fully something like that there we go so let's ease those pressing f9 so now without so now without going into the graph editor we're going to have this so as you can see, it looks pretty cool, but it's not really natural. We're going to go for a more polished look. Let's select these two keyframes and let's go into the graph editor right here. So we can press plus to see a bit more. And now you can just copy my graph. We're going to make it go slow in the beginning and then fast at the end. So we have, whoop. as you can see, it looks pretty cool. I think we might even make it start earlier on make sure that when you do that you adjust these as well or else it's going to look very weird as you can see this is too further down so i'm just going to adjust it there we go that looks good and then let's do the same for the other part I like the keyframes let's go into the graph editor once again and then at the beginning we're going to do the contrary it's going to start off really fast and then at the end it's going to slow down So I think it's jumping kind of fast. I think I want it to be a bit more smooth. So I'm going to make it less intense right here. And I think on this one, I'm just going to emphasize it even more. So now let's look at our final result. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value, please consider subscribing and please let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you would like me to cover next. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.